Hello everybody, my name is Leo and with this video we share a demo review of the Hotton Ampero Stage. First of all, we will hear the unit in action with the demo song, then we will describe the main characteristics of the unit, then we will hear more sounds also comparing the stage versus real tube amps, and finally I will give you my two cents. Let's start! Let's now describe the Ampero stage. We have 87 amps, including many famous and classic amps, like Marshalls, Fenders, Voxes, etc. I would also mention that we can use a simulation of a wall head amp, but also of just the power amp section, which is a nice feature, especially if you want to pair the stage with a valve preamp like the Revolt or the Victory V4. Furthermore, the unit includes 68 cabinets with 6 single mic simulations and 4 multi mic sims, I mean combination of mics. Obviously, we can place the mic across the cab wherever we want. We can load our own IRs in 50 user slots and there are 20 Celestians IRs included in the box. The IRs are at up to 2048 sample points. So here I would say that we have a pretty complete set of amps, cabs and relevant features, for instance with power amp sims, multi mic sims, etc. So that we can customize our tone how much we want. Then we have more than 60 effects covering distortions, dynamics, filters, modulations, delays, reverbs, etc. Here I would mention that we have dedicated effects for the voice, like an auto-tune for automatic vocal pitch correction. The amps, cab and effects can be stored in 300 presets with 60 banks of 5 patches for each bank. The looper can be pre or post, and the maximum recording time is 60 seconds in both uh, pre or post. In terms of signal chain, the stage runs 12 
simultaneous effect blocks that we can arrange in whatever order we want, also with the possibility to use many times the same effect block, for instance, three distortion in series. And also we have the availability of parallel chains. With parallel chains, we can, for instance, load two amps in parallel or two delays, etc. Furthermore, we can assign an independent chain to each of the two stereo input. For instance, using a chain for the guitar and the other for the voice. Of course, if you assign an independent chain to each of the stereo input, then each of the two chain cannot contain parallel effect itself, like parallel amps or parallel delays, etc. Here the limit is the DSP usage. As complex signal chains, for instance using CAB instead of IRs or HQ amps, can draw a significant part of the DSP at our disposal. In terms of features, I would also mention the 5 inches touch screen, the 8 foot switches that are pretty nice in such a small unit, and the possibility to manage 5 scenes for each preset, to allow for gapless switching. Furthermore, we have built-in Bluetooth 4.2 module, compatible with iOS or Android mobile apps, that allows to tweak the unit with the phone app or to use Bluetooth MIDI pairing the stage with controllers like the Ampero control. The app also provides access to the Oton web community, where you can share and download presets. Let's now talk about the I.O. We have two external controller inputs, an unbalanced input and a Combi 1, which allows to connect another instrument or a mic. In fact, this input also manages phantom power to drive a mic. Then we have two TRS jack uh, to manage the effect loop, so that we can use basically stereo pedals in the loop. Then we have stereo balanced and unbalanced output, an aux in and an headphone out. We also have MIDI in and out ports via mini jack. And please notice that, so far, output MIDI messages are not managed, but Oton told me that it will be added with future firmware updates. This unit can serve as an 8x8 channels audio interface via USB-C. It manages sample rates at 24 bits and 44.1 until 192 kHz sample rates, which is pretty cool and unique in this type of units even because we have ESS Sabre independent AD-DA converters that are among the best ones in the market. The weight is 1.9 kilos and it draws max 1.4 amperes of power at 9 to 18 volts. The price is 700 euros or dollars. So for sure it is the most ambitious amp modeling pedal board that Hot Tone has released. Let's now hear some more sounds also comparing the unit versus real tube amps.
consideration CR and please notice that uh, these are my personal opinions for my specific use cases and you may not agree with me and this is totally fine. Furthermore, Hot Tone has sent me this unit for free but they are not asking me to say anything and this video is not paid or sponsored. Let's have a look at the pros and cons of the unit. Let's start from the pros. I really appreciate the amp cab and IR customization possibilities. I mean, you can, for instance, just use a power amp sim to couple the stage with a valve preamp, or you can use a cab with a double mix simulation, or you can use your own IRs. I think that uh, in this price range, the customization options are pretty good, even because, and this is the second pro, also, the signal chain is pretty customizable in this price range. For instance, you can have a double amp block or you can load many instances of the same effect block, etc. Like, for instance, having three distortion blocks in series or having two amps in parallel. Another pro is the audio interface. I mean, I honestly don't remember which other unit in this price range can reach 192 kHz with 8 USB channels offering ESS Sabre converters. These are pretty good specs in order to record professional quality music. Then I would mention the XLR input that can drive a microphone and the effects included like the auto-tune that are perfect for singers. Once more, in this price range, these are pretty unique features. The next unit with similar capabilities that I know is the Edrush Core, but the price is much higher at 900 euros, where the Ampero is 700. Finally, I like the form factor. I mean, I prefer units without the expression pedal that you can add if you want. And by the way, here I have two of tone Ampero expression pedal that we can pair with the stage. More info in other videos that I will do in the channel. I would not mention among the pros the touch screen, the Bluetooth connectivity and the app, as I would say that I can live without these options, but for some of us these are important features. In terms of cons, well, I don't have too much to mention here, but just a few things. The first is that so far the MIDI out port does not send data. I have asked Otton and they told me that it will be added in future firmware upgrades. Then I would mention that it is not possible to change the names of the scenes, for instance, calling them intro, outro, solo, etc. I'm pretty sure that also this possibility could be added with firmware upgrades. In terms of price, it could seem high if you consider the other Otton units, but actually I think that the price is pretty good considering what it offers. For instance, this is the less expensive unit I know to offer XLR powered input with also auto-tune effects. All in all, well, I'm pretty impressed by the versatility, the quality of tone and the customization possibilities that uh, this unit offer. And I think that uh, here we have a contender for even higher priced modelers. There are some features that have to be fixed with firmware upgrades like the MIDI out, but even if the unit has been released since few months, few weeks actually, I think it's already offering a pretty valuable package. So that's all for this video. I'm now really curious to hear your opinions. What do you think about the stage? Which are the main contenders to which I should compare it? Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. And subscribe if you don't want to miss my future videos and detailed comparisons. We have now reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell and leave a thumb up as it would be of a great help. 
If you're interested in my IRs or camp or tonics profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.